Hi, we're, we're Bronze, Bronze Radio, Radio Return, Return, and you're watching F28Studio.com. We all went to a music school in Hartford, Connecticut, Hart School of Music, and or three of us did, several of the band did, and um, we started, uh, Patrick and I started playing music together and uh, had all met kind of through school, and then after school we decided we just wanted to not have to have a day job <laughs> and try to figure that out, so we kind of all got together and just rehearsed a bunch and started figuring out a plan to make this a career. We've been working at it ever since. Typically I'll start it. Um, I live in Maine now um, and I will work on an idea or set of ideas and then send it out to everybody. And then everybody kind of listens and thinks about parts. Um, and the first time we actually play them all together is in the studio um, so we don't practice we don't rehearse anything ahead of time um, we just kind of everybody listens and we kind of all work on our own ideas and then we get together and all mash them mash them into one thing it's part of it yeah yeah it starts yeah, well, that's how we do our pre-work, you know, and then we pick a studio. We always go to a different studio every time we record. So this last time around was in uh, Tarpley, Texas, which is kind of like the hill country, kind of outside of uh, San Antonio. We are at a cool studio there. And then when we all get together, everybody kind of has their ideas. We all set up our little stations. Everybody gets in, and then we take turns going in. Yeah. Jack, what do you think? <laughs> um, I think it, I think a lot of it comes from our backgrounds. I think that everyone's got such a diverse background, blues, jazz, rock, um, and really everything in between. I think a lot of that culminates in it. Um, so, wow, yeah, I guess. And, uh, and just, yeah. just being in a band for this long, you know, things, things evolve. We kind of see where certain tendencies tend to go, and then we kind of try to capitalize on things that feel like they're becoming, you know, our sound or, or strengths of ours we try to capitalize on. And, Do you guys have separate influences that you kind of bring into while you're doing the recording? Yeah, I mean, I think that's kind of part of the thing. I think eventually you, you know, you have a bunch of influences throughout your life, you know, listening and playing. And as you're kind of trying to extrapolate those and put that into what you want to do, it kind of becomes your own voice, and you, hopefully, and you try to bring that to the table. You know. mm -hmm. It's a, it's a pretty, I mean, for me, when I first heard it, it's a pretty yeah, nice Thank you. I think that's the best compliment you can get. <laughs> so that's why I was I heard it, and I'm like, I got to talk about it. Um, now, do you have any bands that you listen to now that you might say, like, that really makes you want to write a song? Like, you might listen to the radio, or there's music that's really influencing you right now that's currently happening? Boy. Definitely. Um, say... For, for me currently, I'm, I'm really into Anderson .Paak. Um, I think just really dig the production value and just all the musicality that goes into that genre. Yeah, yeah. I think for, for better or worse, um, with the Spotify listening, the streaming, listening culture, uh, we can, we are just have access to so much. And then I remember growing up and getting the CD and you learn all the songs in the CD and you know all of it. Now those days I feel like are, are done. Um, uh, which I think is a little, which is sad. Uh, and I guess maybe on the, on the plus side, we have access to so much. It's hard to keep attention on one thing. And it almost is like listening to music when through playlists or through like bits and parts of songs. And as an artist, we want to create a record that people listen to all the way through. I mean, I still think that's the, the romantic idea. Um, but as a listener, I, I'm, I have this, like, all these things now in front that will bounce around, and I'm, I feel like I'm always on the hunt for stuff. Like an of 
Yeah. Like I, too much information sometimes. Yeah. And it, it can be wonderful, but it can also just be like, I feel like sometimes the guy's like, what are you listening to? And I, like, I will be like, deer in headlights it's like oh, let me pull up my spot yeah. right here it's like but there are definitely like a few bands we've kind of rallied around like as a group over the years like uh, you know we went through a big ryan adams phase early on with the mm-hmm. band and then yeah. like bands like vampire weekend and the national sure. yeah. and portugal the man and totally um, bon Iver. Like bon Iver. yeah there's yeah. there's a lot of groups that kind of collectively we've all gotten into a, outside of our own personal influences mm-hmm. so. We, we have done some overseas touring, um, and we'd love to do it again. Uh, there's nothing currently on the books for it, but it's always kind of a discussion point on how do we get back to the European markets that we've played. Um, we have, I think, about 30 or so more shows to do here in the States, and then um, the next planning for the next round of shows will come after that. Now so, you guys are going to be touring for the rest of the entire year, 2019? Up until about April. Until about April. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm sure we'll have dates after that, but we have about a 40-ish date tour right now. It is. It's uh, nail on the head. It's the second part of, uh, so it's EP check two. Uh, We had a check one right before that, and it's leading up to an album that comes out next month. Uh, February 22nd. It's actually in like, oh, so two weeks. Gone. Oh boy, <laughs> two weeks, excuse me. This month. It's this month. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we recorded, so we went and recorded a full record and then just in the age of Spotify and just how we were releasing music and, and getting attention, we've kind of trickled songs <clears throat> out in anticipation of the full re- Energy. Uh, there's a lot that goes into touring. There's a lot of travel. There's a lot of that stuff. But we, I feel like our energy for, we save our energy for the show. And I think that that's a thing we really work on. Um, We're incorporating some visuals this time, too, like behind us with the lighting and the, the amplifiers and making it more feel like a stage and a show and, and all, everything's part of the show. So everything is going to, like, the lights are going to go on certain times when the music is on. Yeah. Like that, so yep. Hopefully, if it all goes according as to plan. As long as it stays plugged you know? in. It's yeah. all plugged in right. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. see. Yep. <laughs> like February 22nd, we're releasing a uh, full album, Entertain You. Um, will be available wherever you stream music or purchase digital music or so vinyl. Spotify, iTunes, yeah. Google Play and stuff like that as well. Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm guessing also will be sold on your website too. As well. That's right. Yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you guys for sitting down there. I really appreciate it. Thank and you so much. Fun night. I'll be photographing you guys more. Awesome. Thanks right. for having Thanks us. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.